God has guided George and Kelly to this moment, has blessed their love, and brought them together to enter into the holy union of marriage. It's a blessing to us because we are so happy for you both, but also because we can stop and see how God has led you to each other. George, you are passionate, loyal, and loving. Give that away to Kelly. So when I say love should be the anchor of your marriage, I mean much more than a feeling. This is how God showed his love among us. We are to live this out with everyone, but where you both will start now is with each other. This love should be a self-giving, and you both have so much to give. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow, and with all that I am and that all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow, and with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You have shown your love and affection by joining hands, have made promises of faith and devotion, each to each other, and have sealed these promises by giving and receiving of rings. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife. George, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Kelly is the most generous, independent, compassionate, inclusive, and intelligent woman that I know. And when she does something, she puts everything she has into it. When he first told me about Kelly, that same energy he had for her just in, when he told me about her and then each time after, like Kelly, you know, we're going to do this, that. He had that same energy, and still today he's got that same energy, and I love it. It's 
so I knew Kelly had met someone special the first time she introduced George and I over a happy hour. He made us laugh until our cheeks hurt and our eyes filled up with tears. George, I am so proud to have you and the boys join our family. Thank you for loving my sister and making her so happy. Deep in your mind, I know you feel the same. Running the red things that you say don't always come.